G'day all, Wayne here, Wombat Models, and welcome to 2023. Today I just want to have a quick look at a couple of deliveries I've received for the start of the year. Let's turn the camera around and have a look. Uh, so first up, I got a delivery from Icky Sticky, a great Aussie company. So I picked up a set of the 3mm pipettes, they're in a 20 pack. I already got a 5mm pipettes, but just to use the 3s when I need to do smaller volumes. Also picked up a set of their micro pipettes, so they're really small volume, but great for precision application of liquids and glues, or for moving really small quantities of liquids. Also picked up their wax pickup pen, which is dual ended, so if we have a look at it. So this end, uh, you can see the wax tip. So it's really useful for picking up little bits. So whether you can see those there, but dab it, and it picks the item up. The other end is actually a stainless steel tip. Now you can use that just to move items around, or you can actually stick the tip, which is actually hollow. You can pierce it into some clay or wax, and you can use that as a pickup tool. Uh, just on that, the wax tip is replaceable, so you can order replacement tips there from Mickey Sticky. I uh, also picked up a couple of new rulers, just a 30 centimeter and a 15 centimeter ruler. Uh, when you get an order with Icky Sticky, they usually send you a freebie in with your order this time. Stubby holder, thank you very much. Okay. Also picked up Icky Sticky tape dispenser. So this dispenser is designed to work with basically their tapes. Uh, you can also use it on Tamiya tapes. But we'll just have a quick look in the box. So, nice plastic carrier. You've got the spindle in the middle which holds the rolls. And on the front you've got a dual sided cutting edge uh, which can be removed. So on this side you've got a rather coarse cut. On the other side you've got fine cut so you can use that whichever way you want so that just sticks on the back and then you just slide it across and it locks itself in place and then to use it you just twist to release pull the spindle tapes go in and just if you can get it in and then just lock so it holds the tapes you pull the tape out use it over the cutting edge on your dispenser so it's a great little tool there and finally on this delivery from Mickey Sticky, I also picked up a pack of their masking sheets. So it's a three pack, 200 mil by 300 mil sheets. Uh, it's the same material as the tapes. So a washi type material. Uh, great for using if you want to cut out your own masks or any shape. So I'll probably use these for cutting masks when I do um, National insignia and the large markings on 48 scale aircraft, for example, uh, rather than uh, using the decals just to paint them on. So that was my uh, Icky Sticky delivery. If you want to order anything there, just remember, go to ickysticky.com.au. Okay, now I'm just going to have a quick look at a few kits that I picked up from Metro Hobbies uh, recently. So these three kits that I've got here today, uh, all 70 second scale and aircraft, they will go towards part of a, a build series I'm going to be doing. Uh, aircraft of the VF-111 Sundowners from the time they were established in 1942 uh, right through to current. So first up, we've got... Hobby Boss kit number 87268. So this is their Easy Assemble Authentic Kit F8F1B Bearcat. Uh, so kit, as you can see, has two sets of markings. So French Air Force, Royal Thai Air Force. Uh, small kit, it's only 118mm long, wingspan 150 millimeters. So just a quick look at the box. Sides just have some information there in Chinese. Ends of the box basically the same as the top, and then just the same information that was on the other side, but this time in English. Having a quick look inside the box. So as I said, this is the Easy Assemble kit. Uh, so it's very simplified moulding. So as you can see, lower fuselage is moulded integrally with the wings, so upper and lower wings moulded together. 
So you've got a little bit of detail there, very fine uh, recessed panel lines, and no real interior detail there in the uh, engine or gear base. So then you've got the upper fuselage. So again, fine recessed detail. Uh, cockpit, fairly basic, but for a small kit, not too bad. And again, no really interior detail there. You might be able to see up inside through the wheel wells, but we'll have a look at that at some stage. Uh, then you've got the cowling uh, with the radial engine molded in. So just on the backside, no real detail there. And then you've got your main sprue. So on that, you've got your prop, gear doors, horizontal tail surfaces, your main landing gear and associated bits and pieces. And then you've got some ordnance, so you've got uh, one-piece bombs, so you've got two bombs there, some rockets, drop tanks. The drop tank, sorry. Uh, then you have your transparencies. I won't open that up right now. The decals, as I said, you get two sets of markings. So you've got uh, French Air Force, and then Royal Thai Air Force, and then just the general markings. So, deco film doesn't look too thick, but we'll see how that goes. Obviously, won't be using the main markings, given it only as the sundowners. And then you also get your instruction sheet. So, just a simple, roughly A4 size, maybe a bit smaller. So, on the front, just got some um, information. Then you have inside the sprue layout, which is very simple, as we said. And then you just your assembly steps. So as you can see, there's not a lot to it. Goes together in just a couple of steps. And then lastly, you get your marking and painting guide. So again, French Air Force aircraft from January 1954. The other side, Royal Thai Air Force, uh, first fighter bomber wing from early 1960. So you've got all your decor placement. Uh, colour callouts, so it shows you the colours here, Mr. Hobby, Accretion Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, Humbrol. So that's on both sides. So it looks like a nice little kit. Hopefully it will go together well. So let's quickly pack all that away. Then next up, we've got two kits from Dream Model. So again, these are going to be done as uh, VFC 111 Sundowners ag aggressor aircraft. So first up, we have uh, kit number DM720013, which is the FIV Tiger II early version. Uh, so it comes with eight marking options. Uh, box, as you can see, this is the single-seater version. So just uh, some build shots on the side. And... Your marking having a quick look in the box so a fairly large box nice and sturdy not actually a lot in there uh, very light on plastic but it still looks like a nice little kit so I'll just take all this out and have a quick look so in the box you get the instruction sheet so it is just a single double-sided A4 page uh, so it all goes together in basically 16, 17 steps. So pretty straightforward there. Uh, there is a little bit of PE involved. Also in the kit, you get the marking guide. So on here you have your eight markings. So you have your classic movie Top Gun, uh, the enemy MiG-28. And you've got Iranian Air Force. Royal Thai Air Force, Republic of Korea Air Force. Then you have a US Air Force uh, aircraft from 58th Tactical Fighter Training Wing based in Luke Air Force Base, Arizona. It's from 1979. You've got an aggressor aircraft from uh, VFC-13, the Fighting Saints, based out of NAS Fallon in Nevada. So it's from about 2016. Got a US Air Force Aircraft. So this one's from the 57th Fighter Weapons Wing at Nellis Air Force Space in Nevada, so another aggressor aircraft. And finally, the one that I'll be doing is VFC 111 Sundowners. So in this case, it's uh, aircraft number 113. 
Uh, as you can see, it's done up in a wood brown tan and dark yellow scheme with a little Sundowner's uh, tail fin. So in the box, you get your transparencies. So single seater, so you got windshield, canopy, gun sight, a couple of little extra bits. Uh, Dream model, we're going to be releasing uh, one of the photo recon, the RF 5E versions. I don't know whether they ever did, but that was put for part of that as well. Then your sprues. So first up, this one, which has small sprue here. Sprue B, which just has halves for some bombs. Okay, sprue E, which has your front fuselage half, so the cockpit. Cockpit tub, nose cones, uh, instrument panel, and the nose wheel door. And then in the main bag, you have the upper fuselage, uh, which is not small. You can see actually how small that aircraft is for a fight, a modern, fairly modern fighter. Uh, nice recessed details. Uh, you've got a lot of rivet markings, panel lines. Had seen some of these uh, online where on the sides the moulds were pretty gnarly. Uh, they've caused some mess around there, but these look like they've been cleared up. And then having a look at the main sprue A, so we get lower fuselage, the wings, uh, so upper and lower because of the very low section airfoil, they're just moulded as one piece, so that slots up to the body. Intakes, various uh, splitter plates, gear doors, uh, the tail, you got the jet exhausts, uh, up here you've got a lot of uh, fins and bomb racks, landing gear, drop tank, and then down here you have ordnance. So again, bombs and missiles. And just have a quick look at the instructions, uh, sorry, the decals. And with this kit, you do get a very, very small photo etch sheet, which just has basically the pilot's harnesses on it. Let's put that back in there so we don't lose it. And the decal sheet, so some quite colourful markings there that we went through on the list, but as I said, I'll be doing it up as VFC 111 Sundowners, so with the traditional rising sun on the tail fin and the shark mouth. So that's the F5E from Dream Model. Also picked up from Dream Model the F5F Tiger 2. So this is the two-seater variant. So this is kit number DEM720014. Again, uh, shows some build-up photos and a couple of your markings. So we'll have a quick look in here. Basically the two kits are very, very similar. The only real difference is the front end, so with the cockpits. So as you can see, single seater, it's just a singles position. For the F5F, you get the dual seat and the extended fuselage. So if you have a look at the two there, you can see the difference. So other than that, uh, the rest of the sprues in the F5F are the same, except for the transparencies, obviously. So you've got the front screen and the two canopies. And then the markings in the box. So again, you get your marking guide. So uh, uh, US Marine Corps VMFT 401 Snipers. So it's an aggressive squadron, squadron based out of MCAS Yuma, Arizona. Uh, you've also got VFC 111 Sundowners. So Actually, it says VFC-111, but the aircraft markings of VFC-13, uh, the Fighting Saints. So that's a misprint there. On this side, you've actually got the markings for the VFC-111 Sundowners, even though it says VFC-13 Fighting Saints. So in this case, it's a Aircraft Red 100. This one has the full tail. 
and this one's done in a light grey, grey, blue, grey three colour scheme and then you also get the Swiss Air Force. And let's just have a quick look at the decals on the twin seater here. So again, you get photo etch. In this case, you get two sets of belts. So it's slightly bigger, but not much. And the markings. So you've got your Marines, uh, and then your Navy aircraft, and your Swiss. So that's the kits from Metro Hobbies. So if you're interested, uh, go to www.metrohobbies.com.au.